Hello? Harrison, I need your help. Dad, you keep forgetting. I'm a lawyer. You're the detective. Oh, come on, son. All I need is a ride. What could possibly happen? Goes to the grindstone early, huh? What are you working on? The Wilson deposition? No. Oh, the Denison subpoena, huh? The McAllister stock litigation? No. Well, what then? Follow-up letters to your father's clients. Follow-up letters again? Well, he asked me so nicely. What could I say? How about no? You think after 40 years, my father would hire his own secretary? Maybe he needs someone to do it for him. Well, fellas, it's been a long night. His hand looks more like a foot. Your bet, Harry. All right, fellas, I'll let you in cheap. Quarter. I'm out. I've donated enough to this fight. If I recall, the hand's supposed to be played the same day it's dealt you. All right. Here's your quarter. Let's call this six bucks. All right, I'll see the six. I'll raise you 20. You're bluffing, Harry. I'm trying to buy the pot. All right. Call. Can you be two pair? Harry, I'm very sorry. Three tens. Da. Three little ladies. I just asked you if you could be two pair. I've had it. Wow. That's it. Oh, boy. Yeah. What time is it? Gee. Same time next week, Harry? Ah, uh, you better make it two weeks, Manny. Give me a chance to spend your money. Oh. Uh, Harry, uh, I think there's something I better explain. Wouldn't it have anything to do with this funny money you tried to pass off on me, would it? I wasn't passing it. I mean, how was I supposed to know? Three tens wouldn't win. Where'd you get it? There's some guy in the restaurant last night. He ordered a Zupa Anglaise for dessert. He walked out before he came. He stuffed it in my pocket on the way out. I'm surprised at you, Gino. A waiter with your experience getting stiff like that? He looked straight out. As a matter of fact, if it wasn't for the company he kept, I would have pegged him for a cop. A cop? Yeah. Elmo, tell Nick what you just told me. One of the bills on the test batch of one-sided 20s is missing. How? That's precisely the question that I was about to put to Mr. Nolan here. Well, if we were all there last night when Elmo printed them up, I mean, why single me out? Oh, come now, Mr. Nolan. Nick is like a son to me, and Elmo has almost as much at stake in this as I have. 
No, you stole that bill, all right. And then when you realized that the theft might be discovered before you could get away, you became desperate and you got rid of it. In the restaurant, perhaps, hoping that someone would take it to the police. Tell me, Mr. Nolan, was it that your superiors were pressing you for evidence, or were you just trying to score points on your own? No, you got it all wrong, Clay. You're lying! Think that's counterfeit? Either that or a misprint. I'll check it out. Mr. Fox, I'm Irish Buckles. No, 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 no. Please, say no more. Your beauty evokes images words cannot describe. Oh, well, I'm... Don't let the tuxedo fool you. I'm Harry Fox. How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> Step inside. Be careful, Gino. <laughs> Bye, Harry. Ah, oh, Miss Brickles. Buckles. Buckles. What can I do for you? Oh, oh, no, no, no. You've got that wrong, Mr. Fox. It's what I can do for you. Oh? Yes. You see, your son hired me to work for you. My son hired you? For a whole week, as of 10 a.m. this morning. I'm your new secretary. <laughs> it took me 15 years to find the paper that that bill was printed on as well as the man who has manufactured the perfect plates necessary to make us all rich beyond our wild streams. You infiltrate our organization and try to stop us before we can even get started. Who are you, Mr. Nolan? FBI? Treasury Department? Last night you stole a piece of my dream, Mr. Nolan. Now you're going to return it. Look, I know you guys at Treasury are good, but isn't it possible you messed up just this once? It's not, huh? Yeah. Right. Thanks. Well, somebody's making awfully good copies. What is it this time, Iris? Well, Mr. Fox, your filing system. I thought that you would like to see how I've reorganized it. Reorganized? What was wrong with it? Well, for one thing, I found Stumpy Wheeler's file in a box behind the water cooler. <laughs> That's where Stumpy Wheeler's supposed to be, Iris. He's dead. Just like all the other stiffs in that box. I'm sorry, Mr. Fox. I was trying... That's another thing, Iris. Call me Harry, like everybody else. Thank you, Harry. You know, I've been reading over some of your cases, and quite frankly, I couldn't help but realize what incredible excitement and danger you live with day after day. Uh, <clears throat> so? So, Harry, I was wondering if I could tag along on one of your capers sometime. Capers? Iris... I need a partner less than I need a secretary, and I don't need a secretary. And for... Oh, look at the time. 
It's lunchtime. Come on. You must be starved. Well, I, I just had my breakfast two hours ago. Oh, but you're young. You need your strength here. Take an hour. Take two hours. Uh, in fact, take the whole afternoon. We can start fresh in the morning. Harry, this is morning. Details, Iris. You've got to learn to rise above them. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Well, you see what I got brewed up for dessert. <laughs> hey, Grandpa, can I still eat your goulash when I have braces? Yeah, sure, I guess so. Why not? When did you decide on braces? We haven't. We hear tomorrow from the orthodontist. Come on, Josh, help me set the table. Thank you. So, Dad, you haven't told me yet how you liked your new secretary. Oh, great. Oh, great. Here, come on, try this. Huh? Mm. <laughs> Goulash is great. Yeah. But I'm still interested in your secretary. Now, the agency said she was one of the best. Oh, she is. In fact, she was so good, I, I, I let her go home early. No kidding. What time did she leave? Oh, around noon. Noon? I knew it. You didn't even give her a chance, Dad. Look, son, in one morning, she managed to screw up a, a, a filing system that took me four decades to develop. Who knows what she would have done if, if I gave her the whole day? Uh-uh. Dinner. Come on, let's go. Let's eat. All right, yeah. Hat off, Buster. <laughs> Hi, Mike. That's him. Hey, buddy, we want to talk to you. Hey! $20 bill, and I want it now. Mr. Harry Fox's office. Is Harry there? No, I'm sorry, Mr. Fox is not in. May I tell him who called, please? This is Gino Ferrari. Tell him to bring the 20 bucks I lost to him in the poker game to China Basin. <laughs> Pure 42, birth 16. And tell him to make it fast. You got that? Uh, 20 bucks. China Basin. Birth... Did you say birth? Birth, birth 16, yeah. Birth 16, Pier 42, Gino Ferrari. Is that spelled as in the car, Ferrari, Mr. Ferrari? Lady, would you forget about the spelling? I just tell him Gino needs his 20 bucks. And it's a matter of life and death. Hello? He's...
Harry, is that you? Eugenio? Miss Buckles, what are you doing here? Mr. Fox was unavailable, so I bought the 20 bucks myself. What is Harry trying to do to me? This is real. Well, Gino. Um, she made a mistake. Uh, this is the wrong bill. How unfortunate for you. How unfortunate for both of you. Oh, I think that you should know that I'm only Mr. Fox's temporary help. My dear, you may be more temporary than you think. She's awfully young. Maybe she can't write. Oh, what did I tell you? Harry, gone to China Basin to give Gino his 20 bucks. Iris. She what? What's wrong? Well, the 20 bucks that Gino wanted is counterfeit. She couldn't have taken it to him because I've got it. I knew something like this was going to happen. That kid's in trouble. Oh, come on, Dad. Just because she's not here doesn't mean she's in trouble, does it? Look, in my business, when someone's missing, it could be fatal. Let's go. persuade you to uh, liberate this car so that we can I'll drive off? Car. Oh, you will? No, I, I don't indulge. Here, can I help you with this? Thank you so much. Have a good day now. I feel bad about Iris, Dad. When I hired her for you, it never occurred to me she could wind up in any danger. I know that, son. I'm sorry I came down on you so hard. She's a good kid. I just hope we can get to her before something serious happens. Hey, hey, lady, please. This is no time to start getting friendly. Don't flatter yourself. I'm trying to get free. You want to get us killed? We can't just sit here hoping that Fatso gets his precious bill back. Yeah, well, you better hope Fatso doesn't get it back, because as soon as he finds it, he loses us. You really think so? Yeah. It's not looking so good, is it? Boy, you are some kind of hero. Lady, I don't want to be a hero. 
All I want to do is stay alive long enough to spend my tips. I would think that under the circumstances, your tips would be relatively unimportant. Yeah, well, I'll let you know. It was a bum tip that got me into this mess. If only Harry had given you the counter for 20, we would have been out of here by now. I never even saw Harry. That 20 bucks was mine. And you show a lot of gratitude. You mean Harry doesn't know where we are? Yes, he knows we're here. I left him a note. I told him we were at the China Basin. That's it? That's all you put in the note? Lady, China Basin has six piers and a hundred buildings. How's he supposed to find us? Take out ads? Leave your keys and I'll be with you in just a minute. These buildings look all alike. How are we going to find her here? Well, it looks like we got some legwork ahead of us. Come on. Dad, I'm going to call Cindy at the orthodontist and tell her what's happening. I'll catch up with you. All right. Hey, uh, uh maybe you can help me. I'm looking for a young girl. <laughs> Who is it? Uh, uh, well, she's 28, blonde. She may be with a fellow in a tuxedo. I was supposed to meet them here for lunch. Yeah. The only blonde I saw around here this morning came by herself. Which way did she go? Down towards 42. OK. Thanks. <laughs> that was hours ago, though. not in Fox's office. He must have it with him. What do we do about them now? It's Claiborne's party. Let him decide what to do. $2,000? $2,000? What's the guy plan to do with guns? He bronze them? I can barely hear you. Just an expression, Dad. Wait, the light, you can't, Dad! Go 
nose, Iris. Dad, it's amazing. All those close calls and not a single scratch on the entire car. That was the most unbelievable piece of driving I've ever seen. Yeah, but we lost the limo. Oh, well, look on the bright side of things. At least we're alive to do something about it. Cheer up, son. It's only a ding. Only a ding? The guy at the tow truck told me it was, it was, it was going to be $1,500 minimum. What does he know? 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 Come on. We'll grab a cable car back to the office. My treat. Come on. I just could have gotten his license number. One E A K seven four one. Hey, nice going, son. Those guys would have froze under that kind of pressure. A man doesn't easily forget the last clear vision he has in his life. Where to now, Dad? The motor vehicle department? Uh, it'll take two weeks just to process the request. Iris could be dead by then. So what do we do? I gotta go to the state computer. You got a connection in Sacramento? Uh -huh. But I got Zappens on Market Street. What Zappens? <laughs> you know, I almost got this one in San Diego when I was in the service. Too many beers. Yeah, yeah, I'll hold. Hey, Zappen, how much is the Eagle? 25 plus the ink in advance. Sorry, Harry. These motor vehicle computers are the worst. Okay. Just exactly what is her business? She's the best tattoo artist in San Francisco, that's what. Her technique is world class. What about the passport cameras? Well, can a business branch out? <laughs> about the Panther? Uh... 50 bucks. Very chic. Ready, Harry. Henry Claiborne. 880 Valhalla Drive, San Francisco, California. Ciao. Did you know Claiborne? Yeah, I did some business with him a couple of years back. What kind of business? Didn't you teach your boy the rules? Sorry. It's all right. I'll catch you the next time, kid. Yeah, Henry Claiborne, he's a smuggler. Deals strictly in high-class merchandise, you know, uh, stolen paintings, jewelry, stuff like that. Better watch out for him, though. <laughs> His nails are cleaner than your boys here. He knows how to use them. I'll keep it in mind. Thanks, Delilah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's good seeing you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Hey, what do you think, man? It's definitely you. Almost there. Almost there. Just a little more. Well, you know, when the agency tells me I'm going to be working for a detective, I'm so excited. I can't wait to start. Yeah, well, now you know. I probably could get your job at the restaurant. I mean, if we ever get out of here alive. Then I don't know. Classy lady like you probably wouldn't like that, huh? Classy? <laughs> Nobody's ever called me classy before. I don't know. Working at a restaurant might not be bad, depending on my position. Oh, yeah, 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 right. You know, Iris, I kind of like you. I'm, I mean, if I, if I can only remember what you look like. What was that? I got it. I got it. Ah. Let's see if we can find some way out of here. Hey, hey, look. What is that? I don't know. I don't know. It might be uh, some part of an old. 
furnace or something. Ain't seen nothing. Looks pretty scary in there. Yeah? Oh, yeah, right. Uh, after you. Try that way, try that way. So whatever you do, just keep on moving. Okay, slow. Oh. It's him. Oh. It's the guy who stiffed me with the one-sided 20 at the restaurant. The name he gave me was Ted Nolan. Regrettably, he was a treasury agent who infiltrated my organization and stole that bill. Even more regrettably, you two have seen him. EAK741. Bingo. Where are you going? There's got to be another way in. Look, there's a gate right there. Dad, we're not going in there without the police. We aren't, but I am. I am not letting you go in there alone, so forget it. Look, son. This is part of my business. It's strictly my business. Now, don't worry. I'm just going in there and take a look. I'll be back in five minutes. Thank you. 
crazy. Those guys have guns. They hang bodies in their basement. What chance you got if you rush them? What chance does Harrison have if I don't? Now you two get to a phone booth. There's one down by the bridge. Call the police and tell them to get here on the double. Okay, you got it. First a treasury agent, then a waiter, then a secretary. And now I have you, the wrong Mr. Fox. An attorney who chooses not to talk. There are limits to my patience, Mr. Fox, and I'm afraid that I've just about reached the end of mine. So what's to prevent you from killing me anyway once I've told you where the bill is? Nothing. Uh -oh. What's to prevent me if you don't? Right. <laughs> Never thought of it that way. The bill is in my father's office. We can be there in 15 minutes. That's better, Mr. Fox, except for the fact that my associate, Nick, already searched the office and saw not a sign of the bill. Oh, that's because he didn't know where to look. How can I be sure you're telling me the truth? Well, for starters, I'm terrified of dying. Yes, that's right. Thank you very much. The men in blue are on their way.
Well, Mr. Fox, here we are as we agreed. Please be good enough to bring me the bill. Well, how do you expect me to find your money when nothing's where my father left it? I told you he was lying. You'll have to do better than that, Mr. Fox. Elmo the wall switch. Uh, let's help Mr. Fox throw some light on this uncomfortable situation. Allow me, gentlemen. Now the police? You know it. I wouldn't even think about it, pal. You drink, ma'am? Change, sir. Thanks very much. I assume uh, everybody's meal was satisfactory. The meal was perfect. Very good, very good. The meal was excellent, Gino. Good, good. Iris, the way you handle yourself out there today, you were terrific. Now, I've been a private detective for 40 years, and I gotta tell you, you're the best secretary I ever had. Thanks, Harry. You're welcome. Also, you're fired. Good, because I've been thinking all night how to tell you that as of today, I'm resigning. You're quitting? I thought you'd like working for a detective. I do. No offense, Harry, but I think I'm going to like working at the restaurant a lot better. <laughs> well, I think it's somebody's bedtime. <laughs> all right. <laughs> See you later, Iris. Food was lovely. It was lovely. <laughs> Good night. Harry, I'm sorry. I think she's got a better future right here. So do I. Harry, thanks a lot. Uh, you too, Gino. Neil was great. Harry, 